Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Numa Factory GTCEU hard mode. All right, so last we left off, I believe we had just killed the dragon and we were starting to get into EV. I do have a centrifuge right here. And for this centrifuge, we're going to be using it to, to process red uh, and stone dust to get helium as well as tungstate, our first bit of tungsten essentially. But it's going to come with some processing, so we're going to have to make a electrolyzer. And I may have already made it. Let me go check before I request it again. Should be... Okay, there it is right there. So we already made the electrolyzer, so that's good. Okay, so... Oh, I need to wrench that or wire cut it. I seem to have misplaced my wire cutters. Cutter... Okay. Anything left? Okay, no. Okay. So back over to our machine. We're gonna snippy snip. And let's see. Okay. So in here, we put the endstone dust, right? And this is how I generally did it in my previous Let's Plays. Although before, we had an easier way of endstone dust. But now, not so much. So with processing the endstone dust, we're getting sand, tungstate, and platinum, which is kind of cool too. With the pl the tungstate, we get the dust, and with the dust, wait a minute. Uh, did they change how this works? Wait, trioxide? Tungsten. Okay. So then with the tungstate dust, once we get that, we need to fill it a bath at EV. Oh god, more EV machines. Fill a, um, a bath with two buckets of hydrochloric acid. And then we get uh, this tungstic acid and lithium chloride. What's that be used for? Oh, so we get chlorine back. That's cool. And lithium. Okay, well, I don't know if we're going to need lithium right away, but the chlorine is nice. Okay, so then with the tungstic acid, we take that and we extract it at LV, thankfully. You don't need to do EV. And we get tungsten trioxide. And the trioxide with carbon dust is how we get hot tungsten ingot, but we get two of them. And it does give us some dioxide output. Ooh, but that's gonna need EV blast furnace. Hmm. All right, well, all in good time. Or, wait a minute. That seems to be be the same, although if we have the tungsten dust, we still need to go through the blast furnace. Right? Doesn't need any input fluid, nor does this recipe down here, but that also takes... Let's see, two minutes and nichrome. Wait. Okay, two minutes versus a minute. Honestly, I might just do it this way. Hmm. I think so. I think it would be better in the end. Okay, well, so let's get on with doing this. So we're going to need an ex Wait, we're going to need first a bath of hydrochloric acid, and that has to be EV. Oh, yeah. So she light is another thing we can get uh, eventually through uh, Micromires, actually. But uh, let's go ahead and get with the bath situation. 
Oh, uh, that's for later. I wanted to automate the atomic constructor. I did get an idea of how I'm going to be doing that. But first, oh, I don't need that. I do need conveyors and cable. And while we're here, we may as well get a bath recipe automated. Oh, numpad doesn't work sometimes because it always gets turned on and off. Okay, so there's the bath. We'll wait for the yellow to come back. There we go. And I don't know how much of this is already automated. The pumps might be an issue. Mm. Okay, it's working. It's moving. I always get concerned that it's stuck on something. Should be done in a minute. So yeah, as far as like the atomic reconstructor goes, I think I mentioned it before, but we're basically going to be using uh, a formation plane, two interfaces, an item collector, and it's essentially going to be like a sub-network. Kind of. It is a sub-network in that it is connected through power via quartz fiber. And I'll get more into that as we get there. Okay, so here's hoping that I can just make this up. And that's what I thought. Okay, the pumps do need to be made. Okay, thankfully that doesn't need anything extraneous. The rubber, this should do. Pump, there we go. I thought I would have made a pump maker. All right, what now? Uh, okay, titanium fluid pipe. Titanium fluid pipe. I think it was this one. And I think we needed stainless steel rotor? No. I think it was screw. We'll just do the screw just in case. Uh, let's get rid of that. And lathe. Okay. Oops, not that. Bolt. Screw. And pipe. Okay. Now that should get us what we need. Awesome. Okay. So that it. That is on its way. Did I make... I thought I made a collector. There we go. Okay, so there's a collector. Uh, I guess maybe I can start kind of set. Oops. Frick. Start uh, setting up the AR animation. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention. I did off camera partition some of my tree farm or canola. Oh, dear, that's a problem. Might need to. What is it doing that for? Is it a matter of lighting? It uh, doesn't like that for some reason. What's going on? I have a void upgrade there, a void upgrade there. Well, I don't know. We got a great deal of, of supplies there, but for whatever reason, it's being a little bit strange. Okay. Uh, quartz fiber. Maybe I can start uh, on the AR automation, like I said. Okay, so do I have the formation? I yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, conduit. I don't think we need a lot more cable, but it might help. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this out of the wall. Oh, did it go in my bag? No, right there. Oh, and before I go anywhere else... Torch. Okay. 
So I think I started to kind of dig a little area off camera as well for this. Somewhere over here. Yeah, that should do. All right, so let me see if I can really quickly pull up my illustration. I heard I found it. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here is there's, there's that, right? We're going to put that here, and we're going to wrench this so that it's pointing this way. With that, I put another interface. I believe the patterns will go here, and this is more of a in and out sort of system for our um, atomic reconstructing. So with the quartz fiber, I put that here. And then I attach the system like this. So I'm going to have to dig down here and figure out where the heck my conduit is. There we go. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Uh, let me do this. Oop, not that. <sighs> How I place torches like that. Okay, nope, that won't do. Wait. No, that should do. I don't think these are connected. Although, let me try. S no, that shouldn't work. That shouldn't. That should not. I mean, uh, these two should be separated. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so enough of that. Um, right, so I'm going to get this. Maybe I can make it a little bit more compressed. Actually, no, I'll put that right there. Okay. So we'll put the formation plane there, and we'll put that there. Oh no, that should be this block. Okay. Now I do need to get power to this thing, that's another problem, but shouldn't be a big deal. Additionally, I am going to need to get a redstone timer system where it will activate this and activate this at the same time. Well, at a delayed rate. Pulse and pulse. Okay. So let's go back to the base of the front here. The bath is done. Good. Do I have a... No. Uh, we're going to need a regulator. Probably go with a single LV one. It's not a big deal. Uh, and then get that. Okay. So, conduit. Uh, I should get... Okay, I need to get the redstone conduit automated. Conduit. We'll shoot. Um... I don't really need fluid in this thing, so I'll just put it in here for now. And that should cook up pretty quick. It only has to mainly has to do red alloy there. Oh, I need to get uh I need to upgrade the pack. Just been uh I haven't gone around to it yet. Okay, so timer. Pretty sure I'm going to need to make that clock. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Um. Let's try this. 
I still need the clock recipe, right? Uh, okay. Oh. Clock. I mean, kind of have to do the rest of these parts anyways. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to put that away. Let me just take care of this real quick. Got the bolt. Got the screw. Gold plate, we have that. And gold ring. Okay, that should be all that we need. Lathe. And ring. And assembler. Timer. Another quartz plate. You think you make these things, but I guess you don't sometimes. Compressor. Uh, I could probably do this. Okay. That should be it. Nope. All right. Looks like it's coming along. Uh, okay. How's the uh, interfaces coming along? Good, good. Bath. We have the bath. Um, oh, that wouldn't uh, be in there right now, would it? Okay. Clock. No. Timer. There we go. And conduit. Okay. So let's go back over to the EV area real quick first. And we'll drop more of this in there. The, the bath will go right here. Got the regulator, but I'll just put this here. For the tongue state. We'll get, we'll put, we'll go into our system and then it'll turn into dust and the dust will then come in and we need fluid in and item out. Item out. Item in. Actually, you know what? Let me put them on the front there. And I'll have to get those uh, items for that later. Go back to the air here. Let's go back to this here. <laughs> well, and I don't have any building material. Whoopsie. Glass. Okay, that should do. All right. So back to my little picture here. Okay, so I think and this doesn't really need to be opened up. So I need that to be exposed and that to be exposed. All right. So here's a gate or a timer, All right? And we're going to do boop boop boop. Oh, damn it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to have to wrench. I think that's input. Right? Is that input or output? It needs to be it. It needs to be output. I always forget how this works. Okay, output. Red signal strong. And output, red signal, strong. Okay. Well, as you can see, it kind of worked right there. But let me get my mute on this thing. Uh, there we go. Add. Okay, so let me think here. Oh, you know what? I think I need a repeater here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, well, that's not happening. Red alloy rod. Lathe, bada boom. Lathe, okay. Uh, Peter. Actually, there's not a, yeah, I can't do it that way. Yeah, let's see if I can make it now. Cool. <clears throat> okay, well, that's making regulator. Uh oh. Out of copper, you say? There's a repeater. Do I have any copper dust on hand that I have not? Okay. Well, I need to go mining for that, so that's going to be put on hold. Fortunately. Conveyor. Oh, it's not making any conveyors right now. There. I'll just do three for now. Uh, let me get my window back up here. Okay, so I could probably get the AR animation. Just about done before we head off today. And you can probably get the bath stuff going. Tomorrow, I'll probably upgrade the pack and then go do some more mining and such. Just got back from my vacation, so I'm just kind of like more chill right now, honestly. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, let's see. So I thought we we're going to. Oh. No, I think we're fine on the interfaces, but. Uh, Still need more copper. Okay. Anywho. Back over here. Okay, so there we go. I think... Alright, so now if I assume what I'm doing correct, it is correct. Let me go grab some redstone... Let me get a redstone block. All right. So, boom. Boom. Okay. Back. So, what I want to do here is get Restonia, and I can't do it that way. Okay. Um, let me do it this way then. Uh, first, I got to turn my magnet off. Then... Wait for it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we have the Restonia, right? And we're going to come over here, and we're going to we're going to put that in the whitelist there. Okay, so if I were to drop that in there, boom, it's sucked up by the collector. Okay, and I do need item conduit that will come down here and come into. I want to say this machine here. I mean, this interface, I believe, to be, to be more of like a buffer, kind of. And this is where all the patterns would go. So, let me grab some conduits, and we'll try to get this run in here. So I have the conduits. I don't need anything else. Uh, get a pattern going. The so Restonia... And I already ate all my patterns. I should have... Okay, I thought I had more patterns. Let me just... Let me just get some quick copper. I think this should be enough for like one interface. I'll... No. No, I need a pattern. So that's right. I got confused. I gave myself a confusion. Okay. That is cooking. Let me go back over to the bath. Yeah, the bath. I should have hydrochloric acid in my system, but I might be wrong. Okay, so. 
screwdriver got put back into my system. Oh. Okay. Input. Keep exact. 2000. Oh. I'm always forgetting one thing or another. Cable. Okay. So, boom. Boom, boom. And hydrochloric. Uh, awesome. Okay. So in here, then, we'll take the reg oh, the conveyor, I mean. Import. And in here, we put... Oh, that's my uh, little tracker. I need to turn that off or disable. It's not useful for me anymore. Uh, import. Okay, so we don't have the tungsten state dust in there yet, obviously, because we need to output. Well, I don't have the means to output it right now. I don't have no interface. Let's just get this manual. Okay, so I put that there. There we go. You can see it's running. And there we go. Tungstic acid, lithium chloride. And we can, oh my god, my nose is killing me. And we can, pro, we, uh, <clears throat> we can reprocess that lithium uh, chloride. Obviously for more chlorine. That's pretty neat. Not that. Oh, I need to uh, eject it on the right side. There we go. Awesome. Make sure that's muted. Make sure that's muted. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Well, that's something, I guess. Oh, actually, you know what? Better yet, the highlight of this video will be the AR automation okay so now that we have the item conduit and i think i have everything i need i could be wrong we're gonna say out input and output oh and i need the pattern so pattern and let's see if this works Estonia. bada boom uh, atomic, atomic. And give it a second. I might want to reduce the timer. Oh, you know what? I might need to tweak something on the formation plane. It probably put it as a block. Oh, it doesn't have power. That's one thing. Right. The thing about Restonia is that it's naturally uh, redstone conductive. So it will emit a signal. Well, Restonia, I guess, does not lose its redstone configuration from its redstone partner, right? So it will output power or you know, redstone signal and also activate machines that way. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, so that should be powered now. Is the formation plane online? Yeah, okay, it's online. Might need to... Wait, did I forget something? Oh, yeah, I did forget something. That's the thing that I need to do, is I need to change the formation plane to item. And now, when that gets sucked up, and that gets, the redstone little block gets dropped, or rather, the formation plane here will drop the redstone block atop this white square, the thing will zap it, it gets sucked up, we have what we need. Let's try that one more time. Give it a second. Bada boom. So now we have automated atomic reconstructor. We also have now automated Restonia crystal. 
which I'll have to make a separate, a separate pattern for that. Uh, not so much using the Atoma Reconstructor, but just, you know, uncrafting the block form. Uh, let me just uh, put the glass away. Oh, well, I'm just going to go ahead and use this as my base picture for the episode. And I think that will be it for this episode. As far as the Reconstructor goes, or as far as what we needed that for, uh, let's see here. Glowstone, Electrum, Block Steel. I think we were... Oh, we still need to get Luminescence automated. We needed the Atomic Reconstructor, I think, automated for something or another. I'm sure it'll come to me later. Alright, well... I will take care of that soon enough. Uh, I do need to go mining. But that would probably be after the upgrade of this pack. And I also need to f get this uh, spent items out into our system. All right. Um, so that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you did enjoy. I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully in 1.4. Ta-ta for now.